Hello, welcome to another fight prediction. It's just a guy, Kolarov, or Kovalev, versus Bernard Hopkins. So, Kolarov had just fought uh, last night and defended his WBO light heavyweight title. His record stands at 25 with 23 knockouts, I think with one draw. And he is scheduled to fight Bernard Hopkins in a unification fight in November. There's no date or no venue um, been set yet, but it's obviously a rumor. But this this fight should happen for many reasons. So obviously these are two good fighters. I've seen Kolarev uh, um, beat Never Cleverly last year, um, and to, to win the WO belt. Uh, Never Cleverly was, was, was a okay fire. Um, with a paper champion, in my opinion, not really deserved to win the belt in the first place. I'm um, just kind of holding it into someone better come along. Obviously, who was Kovalev? So Kovalev obviously beat him and has had a string of knockouts since. And he obviously is scheduled to fight Bernard Hopkins in, obviously in November. So, the prediction for this fight, if it does happen, I can see Bernard Hopkins just scraping a um, decision victory. As anybody, as many people do know, Bernard Hopkins will be 50 years old by the time this fight has happened. One of the best of all time, a highly underrated in my opinion, undisputed middleweight champion, and obviously now unified light heavyweight champion of the world. If he can, obviously beat Kovalev and capture the WO belt, and obviously if uh, Donald Stevenson can sort of something out, and just say for example he does beat uh, Donald Stevenson, he'll be obviously become an undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. A massive achievement. I don't see that happening personally because I've heard some rumours that Stevenson isn't interested in fighting him. But if he does fight Kovalev in November, I do see even the Hogwarts just scraping in victory. But the Hogwarts is um, fought and, yeah, not obviously beat all the top quality fighters he's faced, but he's beat so many great fighters over the years, had so many great fights. There's countless examples like the Joe Kazaki fight in 2008, the Rogers Jr. fight in the early 90s, um, Felix Trinidad, Oscar La Hoya. So obviously the list goes on and on. He's he fought tons of quality opposition and Jermaine Taylor. So there's rightly, rightly so he was undisputed middleweight champion and there was rightly so now. He's beat some time and time again. You would think maybe the odds against him or the fight he's going up against, you would never have a chance. And time and time again, Bernard Hopkins proved us wrong by beating the person, obviously capturing the belt or non total bouts. And he's proved us wrong. So I do think he deserves a lot more respect. Or maybe recognition that he deserves because I do think he's one of the best of all time, obviously, at his current point. So, Kobe Level is a dangerous fighter because obviously 25 wins or 25 knockouts, obviously, is no joke. I mean, regardless if he might not be the most uh, fittest fighter for going 12 rounds. That's not the, obviously that's not really obviously um, that bad when considering if Kovalev can obviously finish Bernard Hopkins within the 12 rounds or earlier, he'll get a knockout, won't he? Won't he? So, but Kovalev's a dangerous fighter, great punchy power. So I do think this would be a great fight if it does happen. Really good styles. Hopkins obviously doesn't really knock out people anymore. He just breaks him down with his standard sort of fighting style. But it works for him time and time again. Like I said, Kovalev is obviously the new destructive champion. Obviously, has the power to obviously just destroy people. I've seen Kovalev have one punch power, or a build up of like powerful punches, gradually knocking his opponents out. So those will be a great fight. Like I said, obviously, if it does happen. But like I said, I do think that Hopkins will be. But then again, even though I do think that Hopkins will win this fight by decision, I could see Kovalev hurting Hopkins a number of times, maybe get a knockdown or so. But who knows? It could go either way because obviously it's a 50-50 fight. But I've gone with Hopkins for this victory. This has been my, my Kovalev Hopkins fight prediction. I'll see you in my next video.